it's your girl London and today I'm bringing you a boxy charm unboxing and try on style haul um, so you guys can see what I got in my box this month so boxy charm is a monthly beauty subscription box it is $20 a month and for that $20 you get five full-size products so of all the beauty subscription boxes I really feel like it's the best one because you pay about four dollars and sixty five cents ish uh, for each of the products and again they are full size products so that is not a bad deal you get to discover new brands you get to try out brands that you maybe have always wanted to try out but you don't want to pay the maybe full retail price for them so I think it's a good way to experience new different things things you kind of have been eyeing but at a more uh, affordable price point so one i want to let you know that pop pop if you don't know who pop pop is he is my little baby dog he is in my room so if you hear any weird noises it's likely him playing underneath my chair two i do not have my contacts in or my glasses on because it creates a glare so although i can see myself in my mirror right here i cannot see myself in that monitor it is totally and completely blurry all i see is the outline of my face so i have no idea if i am even in focus i'm just praying that i am so that way i do not have to reshoot and refilm this and so that way it is watchable for you guys so let's go ahead and let's get into this boxy charm box as you guys can see i have my base on so i have my foundation on primer have spritzed my face i have my eyebrows on and i've primed my eyes already I have primed my eyes with the NYX Proof It um, Waterproof um, Eyeshadow Primer. This is my go-to. This is my holy grail. So I have already primed my eyes with that. It is already set. I don't set it with a powder, but it has dried itself down. So we're ready in rain to rock and to roll. So this is what the inside of the ooh, BoxyCharm box looks like. Looks just like this. This is how they house everything. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to take everything out individually and then toss the box aside. So what we have is some brushes. So I'm super happy about that. I love getting brushes. Um, even though my favorite makeup brushes are my Wayne Goss brushes, hands down, and then my Luxie brushes. Um, I do enjoy getting just varieties of brushes just to give them a try and kind of see different brands and how they are. Because if you can find some affordable brushes that are really good, then I mean, you're having a solid win. And these are kind of really cute color. These are very, um, I know I call them like a mod green color. So they're very, very nice. I really do like these um, a lot. This is, um, okay, they do not say what they're for. So I guess you can use them for anything. This seems like this would be um, to pack on color all over the lid. This seems like it's a blending brush. And this seems like you could use it to smudge the lash line. Um, maybe even like clean up the brows or anything like that really brushes can be used for whatever you want them to be used for i think that when they put that their blending brush or this that and the other that's really just a suggestion in case you're unsure of where to start with the brush but really to me they're interchangeable you use brushes for what you want to use them for if you want to use this brush to put on your foundation by all means go for it so i like that we have that we also have a pretty vulgar nightingale eyeshadow palette so this is super cute Pretty Vulgar, I believe it was a year ago, they came out in Sephora, and when they came out, I mean, they made a huge splash because the packaging is beautiful. It's very Victorian, um, very ornate, something that you could, you know, leave out on your vanity and really, really like. Unfortunately, um, they did kind of have a downturn rather quickly because the products, um, I mean, they're fairly expensive, uh, being that they're in Sephora, but they really didn't hold up to the hype, to the beauty of the packaging, or for the price point. So I think that's why we're starting to see them in some, you know, subscription boxes trying to get the hype back up about them, trying to get people purchasing them again, being back into the brand. So I have always wanted to try Pretty Vulgar, but to be honest with you, because of some of the reviews that I saw, I really wasn't willing to pay the price for their products. So the eyeshadow palette looks like this. So it look, does look very smoky, um, it does look very cool toned. I'm not a cool toned gal, so we will have to see how that fares. And we also do have a mirror, it looks a little blurry because I do still have the plastic on it, but I don't want to blind you guys by taking it off. So yes, this looks very smoky, very cool toned, so we will see how that goes because again, I'm not a cool toned or really a smoky type of gal. The next thing we have is this Laura Geller blush. And this is the Baked Blush and Brightened. Um, it's in Tropic Hues. So this looks like this is going to be clearly a baked blush. It looks really pretty. It's kind of um, like a mauvey pink and it has like streams of gold going through it because clearly it's going to also highlight um, 
as you put the blush on. So it's kind of like a two for one in case you're not a person who likes to put on traditional highlight. Now for me, I did put on my Mac and Patrick Star Hot and Heavy Highlight today because I do not live without that. It is an everyday thing, but that does not mean I can't use a little extra also. The next thing we have is the Lorac Pro Liquid Lipstick. And this is in the color Black Cherry. So this is the box, the color Black Cherry. So this is going to be very deep, very vampy. Again, I'm not a liquid lipstick type gal. I have a ton of liquid, liquid lipsticks, but um, I prefer to have a tinted gloss um, or maybe a lipstick with a gloss. As you guys know, I'm not really about the reapplying and liquid lipsticks. I like the what they're supposed to be. What they're supposed to do is glide on very smoothly, dry down very uh, mattly, and you don't have to reapply. But what ends up happening is they start to crack, they start to give you kind of, you know, hole lips, um, they flake off, it, it becomes kind of a mess. So they're, to me, they're more so if you're going to put them on and maybe go to an event and take pictures, but you're not really going to eat, you're not really going to be talking too much, you're not really going to be moving your mouth to the point where they would crack a little bit too much. Um, so to me, I really see liquid lipsticks more as photography um, type things, but they're not really for my everyday type of life, but I do like the Van B color. It's a very fall, and it really does go with the smoky eyeshadow, so we will see what we come up with. And the last thing we have is the Butter London Roll-On Precision Liner. Now, I remember MAC came out with <laughs> ah, this little roll liner. It has like a little wheel, and people drug MAC through the mud for that um, because people just couldn't get it. It was... It, I mean, I'm almost 100% sure it was Mac that had it. Um, people just really didn't like it. So we're going to give all that a try, and we're going to go ahead, and we are going to get started. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Like I said, my mirror is right here, so if I'm looking this way, it's because that's my mirror. Again, I cannot see myself in the monitor, so again, pray for you, girl, that I stay in focus. So like I said, I have my eyes primed, so we're going to go ahead, and we are going to start with our, uh, what I'm going to say is a... Mm, crease brush blending brush it feels good but it's a little it's a little big for my liking so I don't know how much will you know what actually mm, ah, we'll stick with it because I'm trying to use everything that's in the box so I'm going to go in with a hide and seek and hide and seek is kind of like a taupey color so we're going to see how this goes it is a little powdery because it is definitely kicking that powder while I'm using it um, but actually, it has some really good payoff. Now for me, I have a hooded lid, so I need to take this up a little bit higher. The brush itself is doing pretty good. It's not super soft. It's a tiny bit scratchy, um, but it is doing a nice job. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go a little bit higher so you can actually see it because, like I said, I do have a hooded lid. Okay, so I think that I did a pretty good job. Um, like I said, it's a taupey kind of color. Um, it looks nice. It's a nice transition. It did have some good color payoff. It seemed to blend out really well. This brush, though, the more I use it, the more I don't like it because it is very, very scratchy. So um, not in love with this brush, but I am trying to use just what's in this box. So I don't want to switch to my traditional Wayne Goss brushes, so I'm going to keep using these, but not, not, not in love. Um, let's see here. So let's go in and I'm going to use my color switch just to kind of take that color off the brush. And let's go in with Flip Out, which Flip Out is kind of like a medium tone brown. And again, my problem is this brush is very big. So I'm going to try to go just right below where we put that first color um, and kind of deepen the crease, but not go as high as we did with the first color. So We'll see how this goes because, again, this is a big brush. Okay, so what I did was I basically just placed that in my crease and I'm using my color switch and I'm going to brush off the excess that's on the brush and now I'm basically just going to go back through and blend because it is such a big brush. I don't want to keep the product on there while I'm blending because I'm afraid that it's going to go too high in the crease and I'm going to end up with a really, really muddy eye.
Okay, so that's what we have so far. So they really did blend out really nice. So the shadows blended well together. They blended well on their own. Um, I think it does look good. It has, um, you know, better payoff than I thought it was gonna have. So, so far, so good. So right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do the lid color. And for the lid color, I'm gonna use this um, packing brush. This is nice because it's flat, it feels synthetic, um, and this is gonna be nice to go ahead and be able to pick up the shimmer color. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray this brush with some of my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. Um, most of my shimmers, I spritz my brush. I think most people do. Um, that gives shimmers the best fighting chance. Um, outside of some shimmers, like in the Jeffree Star palette, those are ones that I don't need to use spritz for. But most of them, if you're not going to use like a glitter glue um, to kind of one, help with fallout, two, keep it on your lid, um, I usually spritz, especially because I have a hooded lid, I'm trying to keep it from transferring up too high. So I'm going to go ahead and spritz that lightly. And then we're going to go in to the only, well, it's not the only, they have Eye Spy, which is kind of like a dark brown. Uh, metallic silver spoon which is a blue gray and then they have clutch and I think I'm oh and they also have dark side which is also kind of a looks like a dark blue gray with a purple undertone to it a dark purple undertone to it um, but I'm going to go ahead and they have I keep saying I'm like they're done and then then there's another one they also have break free which is a uh, looks like a pearlescent white but what I'm going to use is the color clutch and clutch is just kind of like your traditional I think taupey shimmer that most palettes have and I'm just going to oh pack this on I feel a little bit of fallout on my face but so far so good okay so hmm All right, so that's what we got there. So as you guys saw, I like to pat shimmers, glitters, and satins. I like to pat them on my eye first, and then once I pat down the color, I kind of pack it on. Then I go ahead and take the brush, I kind of do a swipey motion to smooth it all out. Now this was not as iridescently kind of pow as I thought it would be. Um, it's very nice, and I would say you could wear this to work because it's not such a pow. Overall, I like it. It's not my favorite, it's not the best I've ever tried, but it's not hateful either, um, it's it's okay. So because we don't have a brush really to do the corner, um, I'm just gonna use this flat brush. And I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go into, I mean, why not just get super smoky with it, right? I mean, we're here. So I'm gonna go into All Nighter, and All Nighter is a black in the palette, and I'm just going to put some of that on my brush, and then I'm going to Well, you know what this actually is really good at creating the V so that's what I'm saying like brushes you can use them for whatever you want because I usually would not have used this for my outer V um, but because this is what I have to work with I am and it actually is working really well now I always have trouble with this eye because I'm trying to switch it over but wow okay all right so let me go ahead and finish applying this the outer V. Now again, I'm just packing this on, and it actually is a decent black. I really, really like it. Okay, this is like a smoky black, so I would say it's like a black with a hint of gray to it. So it's not the deepest black you're ever gonna get, but I really do like it. So as you can see, I did that, and then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back in with the first fluffy brush, and I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to blend that out, and hope I don't end up looking like I have a black eye.
Okay, so this is what we ended up with when I went ahead and blended out that corner. Now the overall look doesn't look bad, but as you can see here, it did go a little haywire and I did already do my base. So I'm gonna to try to clean that up just a bit here. Um, now I'm gonna clean that up with, I guess I'm gonna use a little cotton round um, and see how easy that is to remove. You already have your base on. Okay. So cleaned up pretty well. So this is what we have. This is the eye look, you know, um, as we have, as you guys know, I really don't do the bottom lash too much, but I think considering that we're going smoky, I'm going to, so I'm going to use the same brush and I'm just going to go, um, to use my color switch and I'm not going to use all nighter. I'm not going to use the black to do it. I'm going to use the color swoop, which is a deep brown. I'm just going to go right underneath. here I'm gonna try to smoke it out with the same brush considering we don't really have a smoking brush I don't want to use any of the other brushes from my own collection Okay, and then I think what we're going to do is we're going to take the packing brush that we had and I'm going to go ahead I'm going to use Break Free, which is kind of like the iridescent um, white that I was telling you guys about. And I'm going to go ahead and do put that on the brush. I'm going to use that in my inner corner. Okay, then personally for my inner corners, whenever I do them, I don't like to do it just in the inner corner. I do like to bring it a little bit upward so the light really can catch it and it doesn't look like you just stuck something, like you have something in your tear duct. So I like it to bring it up just a little bit. So guys, that is the eyeshadow look. So I'm not going to lie, I don't hate it. I do not hate it. Uh, we were able to use uh, Clutch, Flip Out, All Nighter, swoop and break free so we use five shadows out of the one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve out of twelve so we almost use fifty percent of the palette so i think that that and we use you know a variety of you know satin shimmers and matte so i think we got an overview of what the palette can do and i have to say that i'm actually pretty impressed i thought that these were going to be um kind of horrible and i think that if i had used my brushes that it would have turned out even better um so i think with using brushes that to me weren't the best brushes to use for them. I think that the look actually came out really nice and considering that holidays are upon us, they're gonna be coming up in a couple of months, um, you know, New Year's and stuff, I'm going to keep this palette because like I said, I don't really have any kind of cool tone, purely smoky palettes and I actually really, really, I really like this. Your, your girl really likes this. So yeah, the all nighter, or the uh, all nighter, the Nightingale Pretty Vulgar palette. Um, yeah, definitely. I, 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 I like it. I like it. So let's go ahead now and we're going to do the simple thing first. So we're going to go with the Laura Geller blush, which I think is a blush and um, I think it's a blush and it's a highlight mix together. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to use this one. So usually I would use my Wayne Goss double zero brush, but I think that's a little too big. So we're going to use this. I think this is uh glim glam oh it's ipsy the ipsy b36 tapered highlighter brush but we're going to use it for blush right now and this is a little powdery but we're going to go ahead and oh lord okay <laughs> this is how i apply my blush i always apply my blush kind of like dotting it on and then i blend it out and this even though it just has a little bit of gold through it when you put it on um it definitely is giving you that iridescent shimmer look so I think that this would be, for me, more of like a blush topper. I'm using my color switch to take off any excess, and then I go ahead and I kind of like buff and blend. I do like, oh yeah, this with the Mac and Patrick Star Hot and Heavy, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, this gives you a nice glow. Matter of fact, I'm going to take it a little bit here. Oh yeah. 
Okay, so I actually really do like that. I like the color, and I like that it's giving me like a nice glow. Okay, I do like it. I do like it. Um, let's go ahead, and we're gonna do <sighs> we're gonna do the eyeliner. This could totally just frank up the whole look. So again, this is with the wheel. I have to hold my eyes a little bit taut because I do have hooded eyes, so I need to be able to kind of keep it so I can actually get a line on it. So. And doing this without contacts or glasses may not be the best thing. Not bad without contacts or glasses. You know what? I don't actually know why people hate this. I'm dipping it back in. Um, because I actually like the rolly. I think it keeps it nice and smooth. And it might be because I'm holding my eye taut, but... Okay, a little bit of it did drop down, but I was able to clean that up really quickly. Um, guys, like I said, I don't have my contacts in. I don't have my glasses on, so even with my mirror here, it is hard for me to see. But I think even without vision, this was good. And I actually like this rolly. I thought it glided really nice. And I noticed here, because what I do is I do line, 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 and then I connect everything um, with all of my liners you don't want to go back you can feel it when it goes back that kind of hesitates but i actually i i like this one and it's nice and it's black and it was creamy and smooth and with one dip i could do each eye i think that was one of the things i said about the mac one. i think it was like drying out halfway through i really like that okay okay now we don't have any mascara in here so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to use my again my sample size of the mac uh false lashes in extreme black Okay, so I really like that. So as you guys know, I'm not, it's not that I'm not a fan of false lashes because I actually just purchased a ton of them. It's the fact that I'm not really great at putting them on. Um, I can usually get one eye on and then the other one starts looking all kinds of franked up. I think that they can kind of be high maintenance. They always start to come done in the inner corners or the outer corners throughout the day. I just don't have time to do that kind of high maintenance. Again, for me, false lashes reminds me of something more for photography versus for kind of wear. Um, I like to just use mascara like this look with some lashes would probably be stellar so in the future I may try this look with the lashes but for me personally I am more of a um, I guess like chill glam gal I'm not your full glam gal so for me I like to do kind of like glam looks but not ones that require lashes like I don't think that a glam look has to have lashes do they add to it absolutely will add to the drama but if an eyeshadow look requires lashes for it to look good or look complete, then that's not an eyeshadow look that I want to have because it needs to be something that I can also just wear mascara with. And even if I have to, you know, use mascara and kind of like, you know, put it on in a couple different layers to make sure my eyelashes are volumized and lengthened, that's fine with me. But I want it to be versatile. I don't want it to have to wear um, lashes. Now for me, your girl is not afraid of two things. Blush, I love a good blush, and mascara. Girl, I will Tammy Faye Baker this whole thing out. I am not afraid of spider lashes. I love me a good mascara, a good, good lash. Give it to me all day, every day. So I really am enjoying this. So we're going to do the last thing now. The last thing we have here was the Lorac um, Pro Liquid Lipstick. And this is in the color Black Cherry. So this is a very, very vampy. Ooh, yes, look at, this is very like a black cherry. So let's see. Um, ooh, why didn't I get that on my nose? Oh, of course I did. Why, why? Okay, just disregard that, just disregard that. Um, it has like a faint vanilla scent, not too strong. Um, doe foot applicator, traditional, typical. So let's see.
Okay, so this is a look. I mean, this is, I feel like with my headband, this makeup, I really feel like a 19, what, 20s, 1940s lounge singer. Um, I really like this color. That was very, very smooth going on, but I did notice, I don't know if you can see, but it, there's a hint. I don't know if I want to call it patchiness, but there's a few spots where it looks a little, a little lighter than maybe it does in other spots. But I think with dark colors, even dark lipsticks in general, you're going to kind of get that. Um, I, I, I like this. I, okay, so I actually like everything in this, um, minus the brushes. This is a look. This is a look I can, I can dig, I can deal with. So I really like this. I really like this. I feel very glowy. I feel very glam. I feel like I want to like put big like uh what were they called what were they called thunder thunder rolls that were in the hair like i, I feel like i want to do waves and rolls in my hair um uh, except for the fact that i don't straighten my hair but uh I, yeah this is this is nice this is this is a look i like it so let me know how do you guys like everything how do you like the blush topper um it was a blush and the highlight together from laura geller okay guys so my camera shut itself off so i'm trying to figure out where it was i it had cut itself off at but this is definitely a look but it's a look that i like i really enjoyed everything i enjoyed the lip color the lipstick um like i said it was a little it's like it might be a little patchy in areas um, I really love the Laura Geller blush and highlight together. I actually really love the eyeshadow, so I really love this box. Now, again, it's $20 a month, um, but they usually value them at $100 for all the products, $100 plus. So either on the screen or in the information box, I will have how much the total box was and how much each item was. And I will have a link where if you guys want to try BoxyCharm, you can try BoxyCharm. Um, I think it is a referral link for me. But if you don't want to use a referral link, you can go ahead and just go to www.boxycharm.com, which I always also will leave. Um, so yeah, just let me know if you guys got the box, if you like the box, how you like the items in it. If you didn't get it, how you like the items I tried on today. Do you guys like this style of video? And yeah, so I'm really excited. I really feel like I'm like 1940s, 1920s going to sing, girl. Oh, I love it. This has me feeling myself. I didn't know how I was going to like all this, but maybe I do like a smoky look and a vampy lip on myself. Hmm, okay. All right, guys, so thank you so much for spending your time with me. I absolutely love hanging out with you guys. I appreciate it so much. I just feel like we're just one family and we're friends and I just, I love it. I really love coming to talk to you guys. I love that you guys come and hang out with me. So like I said, let me know about the box in the comment section down below. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Do you have it? Do you want it? Let me know your thoughts. Any questions you guys have, let me know down below. If you have not already, please hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can be notified of all my new and upcoming videos. If you enjoyed this video, please give me two very enthusiastic thumbs up. Until next time, guys, I love you, I'll miss you, and I will see you in my next video. I love you guys. Bye.